afternoon everybody. I am here to deliver a lecture on cooling processes. In last lecture, we have gone through all the pattern making, molding and casting. But my point, in last lecture we have discussed about the molding and mold. Then in today's lecture we are going to discuss about the various types of methods used for making a mold. How to make the mold? You are making mold by your hand. You are carrying out that molding process by using your hand. And another method is also there that is by using, by taking assistance of or by taking the help of machine that is called as machine molding. So there are two methods of molding. One is hand molding, another is machine molding. So there are basically two methods are available. In your syllabus, there are <coughs> four molding processes are given. Dry molding, dry side molding, green side molding, then uh, cell molding and machine molding. These are the methods given in your curriculum. That is a dry sand molding, green sand molding, cell molding, and machine molding. So, dry sand and green sand we have discussed that take the match plate, put the flask or box, that is a dry box, put the pattern inside that dry box, pour the green sand material inside around the pattern, then ram it, press it, once the sand particles stick together, move that, tilt that track box, remove the match plate, remove the withdraw that, that particular uh, pattern from the mold and you will have a mold cavity. Take that mold cavity up to the crucible or bring that crucible molten metal and pour that molten metal through the runner and then it rises through the riser and after some solidification you will have a cast end product. So this is all about the green sand and dry sand molding process. So in today's lecture we are going to discuss about the methods of molding. So basically two methods of molding are there. How you are making the mold? Whether you are making a mold by using hand force or by using the or by taking the aid of that machine, by taking the help of that machine. If you are taking, if you are carrying out the molding operation by using machine, then that is called as a machine molding. If you are <coughs> preparing a mold by using human hand, you are taking up sand particles and pouring with your hand, ramming with your hand, pressing the sand particles inside the box with your hand. That's why it is called as a hand molding. If you are using a human hand for pressing, pouring, or carrying out all the molding operations, if those operations are carried out by hand, then that is called as hand molding. If the molding process or operations is carried out by using machine, then that is called as a machine molding. So, <clears throat> if I compare these two, these two methods are there for the molding. If I compare these particular points, one is the rate of production, another is the quantity to be produced, and third point is to be, uh, that is accuracy and complexity of the product. Complexity, complexity means complex, how, how it is complex in shape, then strength of the product. So, with your hand, the rate of production is very less because it is a tedious process not compatible for human being. So tedious process. So rate of production in hand molding is less. Quantity to be produced is also less. 
or mass production, you must go for the machine molding. Accuracy, whatever the accuracy you are getting by hand molding, that is also less. But the accuracy obtained by machine molding operation is poor as compared to hand molding. Strength. <coughs> strength of the material, strength of the that particular product increases in machine molding and complexity, complex suppose the same is very really complex in nature. So that is easily mold by means of hand molding. There may be chances of breakage of the that particular shape by when you are using the machine. So this is all about the methods of molding. So basically there are two types of molding operations or molding methods. First one is hand molding, another is machine molding. And these are the point of differentiation. How you can differentiate hand molding with machine molding. And machine molding are again classified into these three machines. One is jolt molding machine, another is squeeze molding machine and slinger molding machines. So one by one we are going to discuss in coming session. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.